Hey folks, this is IOE Thrower back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Great Bob in the Cromwell. This is a tier 8 game on um, Empire's Border. He's platooned up with Daily Smurf Allflow in the Cromwell. These two guys could be brothers, for all you know, from these tanks. I mean, both two marks, brothers in arms, exactly the same paint job. Oh, no, there's going to aim flag on one of them. And the, and, uh, the standard British flag on the other one, so. Nope. But anyways, um, bottom tier games, so keep that in mind while they go through this. Um, standard AP loaded up right now. And, um, it's been a while since we got a replay from Great Bob. Though, I'm pretty sure in the last one we got, Deadly killed him at the very end. So watch out for that twist. <laughs> Which may or may not be coming your way later on in the video. Um, they're obviously trying to claim this path along the A line slash zero line. Um, I personally enjoy the middle of this map. It's really good for sniping people who are trying to press up to the A line slash zero line. Oh look! Enemy Cromwell! Um, it's a Cromwell B, unfortunately, for Great Bob, and it's uh, it got the first shot off, so that's gonna be an issue. Uh, but if these guys both work together, they should be able to take it out pretty easily. It helps a lot when our Progetto 46 just pushes ahead like he's not afraid to die. Um, that's really nice. Oddly enough, when your you're top tier tanks act like they're top tier tanks, it's always a nice uh, thing. Um, enemy Cromwell, shots comes flying in, thankfully it doesn't hit us, doesn't even hit deadly. And uh, now we get to unload on him. These t guys are taking turns making sure that they're, well, mostly hitting their shots. Oh, look. We remember him. Deadly takes his first hit of the game. Unfortunately, not able to return fire and kill him, but Bob does take him out. So now, we're looking at... I don't know if you're going to be able to shoot that down, but nice shot does, in fact, pick the back of that Cromwell. Looking for the Hellcat, doesn't bother to aim or stop, so he doesn't actually hit the target. Uh, though in the meantime, Deadly does take out the Cromwell, and now we're going to be taking out this guy in a couple of seconds, I'm sure. Yeah, with a nice snapshot on the fly, and now this has won us this whole side of the map. Ooh, T25 slash 2, nice dodge. Um, I personally would have taken cover behind the wrecked Cromwell. But this is not what Bob does as he slams into the destructible train and gets himself out of the way of the, sh the firing line. Frontman puts the shot in and that ends the T25 slash 2's career. But now that we have found the enemy M44, we're just going to jump on him and eat him. Uh, though it's really the T50-2 up ahead that's taking the lead on this. It's definitely going to be the first one thing to engage. And unless we're really lucky, we're probably not going to get in much on this. Okay, unless, of course, the uh, T-50-2 lets us. <laughs> uh, type 64. So there's about half the enemy team left, and we've just badgered them into this little corner of the map. Which is nice uh, for the whole, like, killing them all thing. It's unfortunate because of the whole, like, they really just have to shoot everything that moves. And they're going to hit something, right? Also, we have backed in an OHO T29 type uh, heavy tank number 6, Rymoto Borsig, and FE2. <laughs> okay, there's no T29, but still, there's a four deadly tanks up there. Um, it's going to be an issue if we're not really careful about how we deal with these guys. Uh, that is also the three members of the enemy... Um, three top members of the enemy team over there. Okay, two of the top members of the enemy team are over there. And it turns out the Rymoto Borsig is actually behind us. Uh, <laughs> well, it was behind us. So now there's just three enemy heavy tanks right here, right beside us. And we don't have all that much backup. Our Bruschetto apparently has decided he needs to point his back towards the enemy. And he does so with an Oho to his detriment. That is definitely the way to lose against an Oho. Point your back towards it. Um, let it fire HE into you. 
Ooh, I don't. Bob gets away with the skin of his teeth as Yoho misses his shot. Deadly is over there trying to kill the heavy tank number six. Meanwhile, our allies are somewhere doing something. A little bit of arty support, and that is all Bob needed. And then the Deadly cleans up the other one. Between these two guys, we're at four kills. They're both alive. That's brothers in arms. Um, yeah, this was good. Any guesses as to how much damage they did? Because, I mean, obviously, 1,800, right? But did Deadly do more or less than that? We know he's equal on kills. What's the likelihood he did more damage than us? Probably not very much, right? Yeah, let's go find out how much damage he did. Um, a little bit of gold expenditure at the end. I can't blame him for that. Anytime you're facing higher tier opponents, especially from the Japanese heavy line, gold is almost a requirement. So, no hate for that. It's I would have used it too. Um, the only way to actually beat those guys is to get up beside them and then just pump rounds through their soft, vulnerable sides. But unless you can guarantee you're going to be flat on the side of their tank, you're more likely to bounce than anything else. Okay, let's jump over and see what uh, the results were. Ace Tanker. Not the worst surprise. Bruiser, Fighter, Fire Perfect, Brothers in Arms. No high caliber. It's a little annoying. A little weird. Is it because we got team damage? No, it's because Deadly did two more damage than us. And he also does not get the high caliber award. Yeah, nobody gets the high caliber award. I'm going to assume that's because either there was little tiny bits of team damage done or that um, you just didn't do 20% of the enemy team. Even with almost 2,000 damage done, right? Just so many heavy, heavy tanks on the enemy team. But that isn't 20% of it. It was well done to the two of these guys. They worked well as a team. They chased down all their kills. And with the exception of the RHM, who was nowhere near where the rest of his team was, this was like just basically balling up the enemy into a tighter and tighter pack and then trying to go in after them without any support. That doesn't tend to work well in tier in bottom tier tanks. But these guys didn't care. They were going to go in no matter what. And they were obviously just doing whatever they could to have a ton of fun. I have no doubt they were laughing the entire time they played this. They looked like they were laughing the entire time they played this. And you get a great result out of it. When you have fun with the game, oddly enough, you do well. It's interesting how that works out. But yeah... Well done, both of you. Uh, Deadly apparently did not a lot other than, you know, the almost 2,000 damage. Um, whereas Bob did 1,400 spine damage. <laughs> they both went a long way. For a nice quick game, they actually made quite a bit of money. Uh, Would have made money, by the way, if he had uh, run this exactly the same, but as a... Uh, um, you know, premium and not without a premium account. Um, would have made money if he'd run this exactly the same with a premium account, but without the battle payment, still would have made money. So, either way, would have made some cash. Uh, obviously, would have made a ton more cash had you guys been running promo bees, but that's not always the way it goes. Either way, I really enjoyed this game, and it's always nice to see the promo kick some butt. And I'm definitely going to put up more of these gameplays. So thank you all for watching. Have a great day. This is IOE Throughout.